Hey everybody, it's Brent, Central Arkansas. Behind me I've got the sweet potatoes. And uh, it's been probably, I'm going to say, um, well I'll put the date that I kind of planted these things. Uh, put, uh, I started some a little earlier than others, but um, I did uh, plant the majority of them all at one time. So I know it's been at least four months. Now my research shows that... Um, uh, it's not really consistent on people's beliefs on when to actually harvest sweet potatoes. Some people will say that when the leaves start to turn yellow. Some people will say a couple weeks after they start uh, flowering. Um, and some people will say that they'll grow forever as long as the temperature is right. I think the yellowing has to do with um, the temperature. That's because most people harvest tend to harvest them when it's uh, fall. Uh, but I'm finding that even though like it's November, I can't, it's like the 12th or the 13th, something like that. Anyway, I'm finding that these things are continuing to grow and I don't, I don't have a real indicator of uh, when's the best time to harvest them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sample pot uh, for you today and I'm going to dump it out and we'll see what we get. Um, yeah, the sweet potatoes, they have grown great. I mean, the plants are, are, uh, nice and healthy looking. Um, it's just been a good experience with the sweet potatoes. Um, so, uh, I guess without further ado, let me get started and take some of these, uh, or, uh, take one of these buckets out. I'm going to choose this one here simply because it's one of the ones on top and all I'm going to do is remove the vines on each side of this one container and uh, try not to uh, <laughs> the, the vines are so tangled I don't know which pot they're coming from. They're growing like crazy all over the place. So let me put this down. My shears. And just lean this forward. And pull out a pot. All right. There we go. All right. So we're going to take this pot. It doesn't feel real heavy. So that kind of concerns me. Uh, I haven't looked at one yet. As you can tell, they're all here. There's like... Um, Four wide, four high, so 16, 16 containers of sweet potatoes. It doesn't feel heavy, uh, so again, that worries me a little bit, so we'll see. This is just a, a drip, um, you know, where it hit, and it'll kind of keep the moisture in. That was a concept that I thought might be helpful uh, to, because they're stacked five, uh, four high, so... Um, if this one dries out, then it would, the next time it waters, it would soak up the water and wouldn't allow the other, allow it to drip into the other containers. But we have another container right underneath it. I'm going to take this one off and put it up there. And the water from the PVC watering should still hit it and uh, feed the other three containers underneath it. So, let's go outside and see where we're sitting. I wish I could get the lighting a little better for you. The sun's coming in from over here, over this way, and the wheelbarrow height of the sides just prevents a bright look. But I'll uh, I'll bring you in close once you do the dump. So okay, let's take the top this little cover off, and uh, well, it's dry, really dry. So, let's see what we got here. So this is a, doesn't look like it's going to be a good show for you guys. Uh, but then I could be wrong. It's a nice looking sweet potato.
bring you in and show you this pot. Okay, this is what we got. Now this is what I'm after. A big, healthy, round, meaty sweet potato. This is not what I'm after. I, you can't really do anything with that in my opinion. Uh, same with that. Uh, I might attempt to do something with that, but most of these, I could do something with this. That one's all right. So we got like three, what I would call usable normal type sweet potatoes. The rest are a little small. I, what I've decided to do is go ahead and uh, take that whole line of sweet potatoes just to see what we get. And if I feel like they're a little immature, then I'll wait a little longer, at least as long as I can before the first freeze. Now you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. The, the bucket I just took was right here. So I'm going to take the three that go down. Okay, and we, I'll uh, show you what that looks like in the wheelbarrow outside. I get asked this a lot. Um, I don't know why people don't think this is hydroponic growing. These are aged rice holes. A lot of it's mixed between parboiled rice holes and aged rice holes. This is a hydroponic medium, believe it or not. Rice holes are. Um, they're used hydroponically in a lot of greenhouses. And I'm mirroring a greenhouse that I've spoken with out of Missouri. Anyway, um, there are some media that are used in hydroponics that are quote unquote organic and you get uh, some people use peat some people use cocoa core um, there's no nutritional value to this at all and why these are dark is simply because they sat in a pile and you can call it composted down what have you but there's uh, there's little nutritional value at all and so that's what kind of makes it hydroponic i just want to kind of mention that all right bucket number two I started only keeping the ones that I could potentially use, the little scragglers I, I have tossed out. This is not looking good so far. Let me go get another one. All right, I got the other two, the last two for this video. And this one has the four in it. And neither one of them feel healthy, healthy, heavy. Probably healthy as well <laughs> but anyway uh, neither one of these feel heavy so I'm not anticipating much there is nothing in this one either so that is four pots very little return on effort and this way of growing All right, guys, I got to thinking about it. There's really no point in dragging this out. Uh, it looks like a fail, but I'm gonna go ahead and take all the buckets and uh, we'll flip through it real quick and just give you an overall at the very end, okay? So let's do all 16 of these bad boys. Uh, even though it was a fail, there's some really pretty foliage all year. <laughs> Always look positive stuff. <laughs> There's the remaining 12. Let's dump them. Nothing in that one. All right, here's the take, guys. 16 containers, and this is what we got. Now, this is probably a few meals, six or eight meals, actually. But, um, let's see, I don't know that I call it a failure. It's, I feel pretty 
not disappointed. I've learned some things. But I would call it not good enough. Not good enough. And I think I'm going to do away with growing vertically because um, there was some sort of probably water issue or something with the lower containers. Maybe they didn't like growing out of the sides. I'm not sure. So we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it growing, uh, you know, like everything else I grow in the container itself with a watering one deep bucket or one deep container. So this really is it for this video, guys. It's probably a lengthy one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.